First, I want to congratulate you on all you've achieved so far in the course. You've already learned a great deal about data analysis. What we want to do next is put all that learning together into one final project. We've given you a fair amount of time to work on this project because we want you to produce something you're really proud of, something you can show to your friends and family about what you can do now that you've taken this course. Remember this slide? We showed it to you right at the start of the course. This was our goal for you by the end of the class. By the end of the course, you should be able to find useful data sets, form research questions about the data, perform basic data analysis to help answer your research questions, and present your findings. In this final project, you'll do this full process. Effectively, you'll create a Jupyter notebook from scratch and perform a data analysis on a data set of your choice. I'm going to go over the project at a high level next, but please be sure to read the project description and grading rubric carefully before you get started. This week, we want you to find a data set which is of interest to you. We'll give you a list of places with valuable data sets in a reading next, but feel free to find whatever data you want. Or if you have data which is publicly a public and it's related to your hobbies or your work, feel free to use that instead. Next, you'll need to explore the data set and see what it contains, and you should do this in a Jupyter Notebook. In the process, you should get a feel for what kinds of questions are answerable with the data. This step often involves data cleaning as well. And that leads to the next step, which is to identify a research question. What do you want to know that the data might help answer? By the end of this week, you should have your data set and research question ready to go for next week. In week 10, you'll continue working with your identified data set. Although ex exploratory data analysis never stops, we will mainly focus on furthering our analysis with modeling methods you've learned so far. You'll need to, you may need to either clean or merge your data depending on how it's formatted, but you should also plan to use the machine learning and text analysis techniques that you learned in the later weeks of this course. You want to look at the data in multiple ways to put together an answer. Is the data reasonable? If appropriate, what checks did you perform to help verify that the data is accurate? Visualize the data to better understand it. Then, when you start gaining insight into an answer, be skeptical. What would someone critical of your result ask about your findings? If possible, try to answer those critical questions or be upfront and admit your results may be limited because they're based on certain assumptions. Once you're comfortable with the results and understand and document the limitation or, su or supporting findings, you'll put together a presentation for another learner to review and give you feedback. We'll give you a template of a slide deck which you can use to put together your findings. It is your responsibility to communicate your findings in a clear and concise manner using your analysis to support your conclusions. I encourage you to get friends or family to give you initial feedback on your presentation. Just because it's clear to you doesn't mean it's going to be clear to someone else. Once you're happy with your presentation and notebook, you can submit for peer review. Speaking of which, I need to quickly remind you of the importance of taking peer review seriously. Just like in week six, you need to be critical but fair. I've generally found folks more critical than they needed to be when they first do peer review. So if you need to err, err on the side of being lenient. This doesn't mean give a poor project great marks, but it does mean that if you're debating between a good or a very good rating, feel free to go with a higher mark. Since this project is really open-ended, other learners may pick topics which are different than what you might do. For example, you might be an avid environmentalist and you find yourself reviewing a notebook trying to predict the next location in the Arctic to drill for oil based on geographic surveys. You may not like the topic the author picked, but your job isn't to judge their choice of topic. Your job is to judge the work. Did they do a good job analyzing locations to drill? And were their predictions good? Were their methods appropriate? For example, did they use accepted machine learning methods by separating out their training and their test set? In other words, do your best to review the work objectively. This project is open-ended, and part of the reason we do this is that we want you to dive into your data set fully. And we know you're more apt to do that if you care about the topic and the data. So do a careful and meaningful analysis, but also try to enjoy yourself along the way. We can't wait to see what you'll create.